What is up, everybody? I recently built my personal website on Notion using a domain from Namecheap, Cloudflare, and an analytics platform called Splitbee. It was really, really easy to make, and I want to share this video to encourage you to do the same. So getting started, this is my website. It's pretty simple. There's a few different aspects to it. I have my blog, um, which I can pop into here really quick, which takes a little while to load, which is one downside, but that's pretty much it. Um, popping back, I have also my projects on my website here, da, 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 which again takes a little bit of time to load, especially when I'm doing this over Loom. But um, it pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty simple, but I like to think also a pretty clean interface. There is some custom fonts and things like that on this that I'll get into later. But I was able to create this website in legitimately like less than an hour using these tools. And I think it's a great thing if you don't have a website to just go ahead and get started. So for getting started, um, the first thing you have to do is create a Notion page. And create a Notion page, excuse me. So let's say my cool new website. Once we have that, let's hop over on to fruition. So fruition, as said here, is a free open source toolkit for building websites with Notion. Here's some of the features. Um, I'm gonna link all these pages in the bio of this video for you to look at after if you'd like to. Uh, so here's what really matters, getting started. And this is actually just a side note, this is a Notion page itself that's on fruition. Um, so anyways, the pre prerequisites, Need to have public access on the page. Let's confirm that I do. Share to web. Awesome. Now it has public access. I need to have a domain. So in this case, I would go on Namecheap as an example and say my cool new website. Odds it's, odds it's not taken. Pretty low probably dot cool okay that's really cool <laughs> so we can do that so that's the first step step zero moving on to step one set up cloudflare so i ha i did do this it takes probably a little bit longer than five minutes a little bit um generous i think but it's very simple anybody can do it if you follow the steps really really good documentation here on fruition site.com so once you get to this point you can then jump over into step two, which is customizing and generating the script. And this is amazing how simple it is. All you have to do is type in your new domain. So let's say if I actually bought this, I actually bought this domain, and then the, no, the Notion URL that I need, which is right there. And that is all you need if it's a one page site. It's literally that simple. As you can see in the code here, the domain is there, my cool new website, and the slug is here. If you wanna add any other pages, let's say you have an about page on your website. About me, copy and paste that URL. Go back here, we'll say about copy it, and you can see that the page also jumps in here. It's really, really that simple. So now what I'm gonna do is copy this code, jump on over to step three in Cloudflare, and I'm gonna show you what, um, what I have so far. So I've obviously already copied this in for my website. Here are all my slugs that I have that I showed you earlier, the blogs, projects, et cetera, um, and my domain. Now you can add title, uh, page title and description for SEO. I haven't done that. I mean, I just have the website for people to search. I'm not planning on getting any uh, bytes from search engine. One thing that's cool that I did here is I did enter a custom Google font, a Montserrat font. Um, as you can see, my font is different than the standard Notion, than the standard Notion font. Um, so that's something you, you can literally pick any single font from Google if you want. Um, jumping back over. Then it's where we get into the analytics side. So for analytics, I'm using something called Split B. And this is just a test page that I pulled up for a random website. And this is the code to embed from Split B, uh, Split B, excuse me, into Cloudflare. And you just pop it in right here where it says custom script. And that's 
It's legitimately that simple. Once you're done, all you have to do is click save and deploy. And as people continue to click on your website, you will get feedback in Split B. Um, this is my page here. And the, the analytics are relatively detailed. Sometimes one downside here is like, this is my homepage. This is just liamherbs.com and it still has the, the long URL instead of the pretty URL. But for the most part, it's, um, it's pretty good, pretty cool. So if you want to have a really simple, quick and easy website to build in legitimately under an hour on a Notion page, if you're a Notion user, I definitely think that this is the way to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, all of these things are going to be linked in the description. If you found it helpful, please drop a comment, drop a like, subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks and have a great one.